Hello May. As you can see, I have some packages here and I'm going to be going through them. These are all, I think, all received in PR. Um, so I figured let's take a look. Everything, to my knowledge, is going to be vegan and cruelty free. Hopefully there's no surprises. Information on everything will be in the description down below. Mm. So the first thing I need to tell you about is actually not received in PR, but it's a new non-alcoholic Bevergino that I've been enjoying. So it's from Golden Road Brewing and this is the mango car. I don't know if they have other non-alcoholic options. Um, and it's a, a mango wheat brew. It's delicious. Like it tastes like a fruity beer. Cause I've been trying some like non-alcoholic beers and they taste like something is missing, which it is, the alcohol is missing. And it turns out that alcohol was a very important part of the flavor. So I found them all to be disgusting so far, uh, but that and the Lagunitas Hobby Refresher are so far my two favorite non-alcoholic drinkies that give you the feeling that you're having drinkies. So cheers to that. And not drinking doesn't necessarily have a reason right now. I guess I just ended up doing dry January, so. The first package I want to unbox with you is actually part of a giveaway, which I'm going to have over on Instagram. So go find me there if you don't already. In honor of it being the end of Veganuary, Pacifica want to send somebody a uh, selection of things. So in the giveaway uh, selection, we have the Vegan Care Balm from them. I love products like this that are like super multi-purpose. You can use it on lips, cuticles, like cuts and scrapes, I don't know. And this is super cute. Anything I've not already tried out, I will obviously try out and let you guys know, but go check that little giveaway because I think it's a good one. They also sent one of their new glow stick lip oils. I'm trying it on my hand first, I'm no idiot. Maybe I am. Okay, rubbed in. That's very pretty. It will also include one of the Cheeky Cherry Cheek Stains. Their Crystal Dew Setting Spray. Cherry Balm Cheek Powders. And a Lighten Powders. One of their new Twinkle Paints. Black Liner. High Slash Mascara. This one is very nice. And uh, this, which is adorable and I'm gonna get out to show you now. The Animal Magic Palette. Ooh. Those are some nice colors. So if you do want to take a look at that giveaway, like I said, it'll be over on my Instagram. I'm gonna test out one of these shadows on my eyeballs. On my eyelid actually, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. That's very pretty. This is the shade Kitty. Okay, that's very fun. Excited to give all of these a go uh, because most of them were new to me. So there. I also have a big package from e.l.f. which I'm very excited to try and it's their uh, Holy Hydration Skin Care. So I think, what did they have originally? The face cream maybe and now they've like expanded and done additional things. Let me get them out and clear a space. So we have the Daily Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides. Some things that I know I like. Let me sniff it for you fragrance people. There is a light fragrance, but I can hardly smell it enough to like place exactly what it is, but there is some fragrance there. There's also the uh, face cream, which has the same actives in it. Eye cream, now this is something I'm very excited to use. Love a good hydrating eye cream. And then the Makeup uh, Melting Cleansing Balm, which I also did buy and have used a few times and it's really beautiful. Um, my only complaint is it's not in a bigger pot, so really nice. And then a cup for more hydration, I guess. So thank you, um, Elf. Do you guys prefer to see like skincare reviewed, like? as you're trying it like should i should i try and start filming using stuff in the bathroom or do you prefer it to be like used a bunch of times and then i just sit here and talk about it because 
you know, I want to do what's going to be the most helpful. I'm still trying to figure out how to do shag hair straight. I feel like it's harder to do than like wavy or even curly. I don't know, we'll get there, you know? I might just cut some more off. Mm -hmm. I have new goodies from Mia Coda. Love that it comes in the little bags. And it's one of their new oversized tees. And I got it in this kind of very light blush pink or like petal pink. But, which I wouldn't normally go for, but I just loved how neutral it looked and how um, pale a color that is. It is nice and long line. Let me, I got a size medium. And it is down to there on me and as always super soft cannot wait to wear this uh, probably with like some skinny jeans or realistically with sweatpants because that is what I'm living in wouldn't it be fun to do another collab with Mia Coda thank you Julia Ooh, let's have a look at this one I've actually had it for a while and it got misplaced and I forgot to like tell you guys about it but this brand is called Purin NYC I think everything is cruelty free and vegan um, I'll try and check and put some info down below but they sent me some samples of their fragrances the full-size bottles um, look like they're probably beautiful and then I've got like these little sample guys who wants me to describe some smells okay so let's start with Sunday brunch how am I gonna we'll just see how many I can spray before I can't tell the difference Mm. Okay, they've said it's cheerful, energetic, and luminous. Sure. Oh, th then they have like a little New York story for each on the back, but it's not super. Oh, well, maybe it's helpful. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, a smile spreads across my face. Waiters serve freshly squeezed juice and Earl Grey tea as I maneuver a sea of brunching socialites our weekly ritual a glittering mimosa and the open chair they save for me awaits i could see like an earl grey tea mimosa fizzy thing to it sure that's actually quite nice a little spicy i would say fizzy someone asked me if i thought i had synesthesia the last time i tried to describe a smell so Apologies to all the other people that it doesn't make sense to, but I know some of you, it makes perfect sense. Oh, interesting. This one is Nitro Noir. I feel like that could almost be like a unisex scent. Oh, weird and like... It's sexy, but then it has like a sort of a veg fresh vegetable-y scent. And that was meant to be intoxicating, hypnotic, and sensual. It's like a bit fresh grassy, but sexy. I don't know, sexy fresh grass. This one is interesting. It says on here 10 a.m. flirt, but on here it says highline flirt. Fresh, flirty, and magnetic. Certainly fresh again, like a little bit fizzy smelling. Gardeny. Okay, and then I'm gonna spray this one on my knee so I can distinguish. That one's strange. Santel Sky. Warm, intimate, and serene. That's not the vibe I'm getting from my knee right now. But it's a very interesting scent. Like, I want to keep sniffing it because I can't decide what I think about it. But probably worn on skin. Might smell a bit different on my sweatpants. So, thank you to Kieran. They also sent Rose Ink. You guys, I love smells. I owe you a vegan and cruelty-free perfume video. I absolutely do. Don't let me forget. Mmm, it is floral, but it's fresh. Mmm, that is another interesting one. Very cool. And I don't know if you can pick up the sets like this um, on their website or not, but it's the Discovery set. I'll try and um, I'll try and link it below. I also have a new bean box, which if you are not familiar, you get like four different coffees to try. I'm not currently doing coffee or I'm only doing it like a couple days a week because uh, I'm a delicate baby. 
and uh, I'm just having to take a break right now. But anywho, they sent one from Belton's Coffee, which is the Bonsai Blend. Ladra Roasting, Flagship Espresso. Lighthouse Roasters, Roasters Choice, and uh, Keyless Coffee, Hapuna Espresso Blend. I think it's a very cute little um, gift idea for the coffee lover in your life so they can try some different things, you know? Or maybe a coffee newbie that's trying to figure out what kind of coffees they like. My mother-in-law actually for Christmas got me a uh, hot sauce version of that. These are some CBD products uh, that actually one of my old friends is now working with, and that is Pure Craft CBD. Oh, some uh, masks. How weird that this has become such a normal part of our life, hey? A very nice little note from the founder. Mm. And this is the one my friend um, Valerie was talking about that I think that she liked, which is the Nano CBD Water Soluble and Melatonin. So kind of like an evening one. It actually looks pretty chic. Very nice, looks like skincare. We've also got a pet one as well, um, which is 250 milligram Nano CBD, which we'll talk about the Nano thing in a minute because I think it's something we're gonna have to study together. Uh, again, beautiful little package. And then, CBD gummies, nano infused. Seriously, growing up not being able to have uh, gummy vitamins because they weren't like vegetarian or vegan, I get so excited now when things come in gummy form. How many should I take? One to two gummies daily. I'll, let's go with one so I can make sure I finish the job. Ooh, those look delicious. Gotta go orange first. Orange is always the best flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Delicious. So, mm, my way of um, absorbing and processing information is that I take a vague glance at it and then I decide what I think it's telling me. So as far as I can tell, because they have like a nano, um, nano CBD, is that what it's called? that you get better absorption. That might be completely wrong here. Pause this if you want to um, read about it. And I don't think that's something I've seen other CBD brands do or talk about. So yeah, made in the USA, you can check them out on Instagram. They're GMO free, um, organic, vegan, all that good stuff. So I'll be testing these out. Uh, and keeping you posted. If I have discount information I can find on anything, I will uh, link it for you down below, so check there. And I'll keep you posted, probably, on the Instagram. And a little gifty from my friend. Cute. Some of you may have heard me talk about um, Kvos. They have really beautiful, they have some makeup stuff and like, but it's like skin carry as well. And this is, oh, so we have a tank from her new uh, lifestyle brand, Homebody as well as a body balm. Cute. This is actually really nice and soft and dra drapey. Perfect to wear for my new um, hobby of walking on the treadmill. Let's try some of this bad boy. We've got sea buckthorn oil and rose hip oil. Oh, it smells like cake. <laughs> Crazy thing. Mmm. Yummy. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, super cute tank, and I always need lotion. In fact, I'm gonna leave it right here because I always like to put a little lotion before I start filming. Now, this is one that just uh, came from Makeup Geek, so I haven't as yet like vetted to see if it's vegan or not, but I believe it is. And I do know I have some kind of like, I think I have a discount from Makeup Geek, so that one will be down below, but this is their extension effect mascara cruelty free vegan 24 hour long wear formula water resistant for 12.89 so there's the stats cute you guys i never really um got a little thread i never curl my lashes because 
well partly because I'm a brat and I don't really need to but also because I just always have found them a terrifying looking contraption but I know they can make such a difference in like opening up and like brightening your eyes for some people. One thing I do like the look of about this one is that a lot of lash curlers that I've tried and I haven't tried a ton so I don't know why I'm saying that they're often too curved for my eye so they kind of I don't know they don't really fit like I can't get that close because it's too curved whereas this one relatively flat so I can't really test it out right now obviously because I'm already all done but or should I what is that fluff maybe I will I do have lashes out on the edges, so it's not really gonna make much of a difference, but I did lift them a little. Very comfortable to use, too. You know why I don't use lash curlers is because I'm one of those people that will suddenly go, what would you do if, and then it's like the most awful, morbid thing that you could think of. And this has a lot of potential for your imagination to run away with you. I could, could definitely rip my lashes out. Um, anyway, feels very nice as far as lash curlers, curlers go. I don't think these are vegan. It says may contain carmine. So we will leave that one, but let's take a look at this extension effect mascara. I feel like there's been some great mascara releases lately, so high hopes. Um, the brush looks promising. That does look quite nice. My lens is being stupid, hang on. Let's try that again. Looks nice and brushy. Has a light smell to it, not like some mascaras that smell like horribly strong. Not a lot there, so I'll test that out. Recently I've been loving the Bite Beauty one as well as the e.l.f. one. So I will link videos that I've used that in so you can uh, see, but I'm excited to try that out. Ooh, Miss Kiki has sent me some of her reformulated um, tints and they're now fragrance and silicone free. If you're not familiar, I will pop a picture on the screen, but Salt NYC um, created this beautiful um, vegan leather makeup palette and now she has come out with uh, makeup items that you can obviously store in it. They're just in pans so great for like working artists etc but also if you just want to build your own uh, kind of like modular makeup uh, palette thing I guess. And these now have no scent and are silicone free. And there's two new colors. I have been owing you a video on these for like a year now. I'm very sorry. But a huge thank you to Kiki. She's always so generous uh, and funny too, which I enjoy. Okay, and then uh, these are the last things. So I have two uh, Kinder Beauty boxes. We'll start with this one. Kinder Beauty are a, is it bi-monthly? I can't remember, subscription box. Uh, vegan and cruelty free, very cool company, so. I'll link you to some of my past videos on them, but let's just have a quick look through this. So we have Save Anti-Pollution Sleeping Mask. That sounds fun. Love the idea of a little sleeping mask, something a little dewy to go to bed in. This is a City Limit eyeshadow dance party. I've never heard of them. Or is, no, wait, the brand is IBY Beauty, I think. Mmm, look at this tiny little guy. It's kind of like a gunmetally, slight green reflect. Ooh, that is strong. To do it on my wrist because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Almost like creamy. I mean, it's a powder, but it's very potent and uh, very smooth. Should do a little smoky eye with that soon, shouldn't I? There's a Dirty Lamb Mint Coffee Scrub. That's a cute little logo. We'll try that out the next time I have a little pampering session. Ooh, okay, boss again. Uh, perfecting Lotion Illuminating Primer. Cute little packaging. Mm, it's kind of like a, I can't, 
can't really see it, but it's like a pearly pink. Am I like, did I, have I forgotten how to show you things? Hopefully you can see it, not you can't really over tattoos, but it's kind of like a very pale, pearly pink um, hint to it. Very pretty. And then Kinder Beauty brushes. I guess they're doing brushes now. Ooh, they feel quite nice and soft. That is what they look like. And I just think these kinds of like uh, boxes are a nice way to try out some new things. Like maybe if you're stuck in a makeup rut or you're wanting to go, uh, you know, cruelty free or just try maybe some more like more natural ish products, you know what I mean? Like less synthetic, then I think this is a great way to do that. And then maybe this is the more recent one. Oh, and. They've stopped doing the cards now, or they will have stopped doing the cards. Um, so you can go online and check out what is in that month's box. So there's an LOV butter. I used to use this. Um, Tashini used to use it all the time. Really beautiful, rich body butters. And this one is uh, tangerine, so it smells really good. Mm, smells really good. Now my hands smell like orange cake. And I love that it's in like a heavy glass pot. Like this is definitely a like by the bed or maybe by your desk or by your favorite spot on the couch to watch TV. This is something you'd leave there because it's just beautiful. There's a face mask. How would you say that? Vianic? Is that meant to be an eye? I think they're probably Polish. Uh, it has white clay and coconut oil. I'm not seen them before. There is a Trilogy Rose Hip Oil as well. Ooh, a cute little Kapari uh, deodorant. Might be a nice one to keep in your bag. Not that if you're like me, you probably never go anywhere. Planty Fusion uh, Collagen Drink. Interesting. I thought that there was no such thing as vegan collagen. I'll give this a go. And an Inaka eye pencil in gold khaki. Mmm. Should have done an eye look with that other shadow in there, shouldn't I? I mean, I still could. I still have the ability to do that. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Um, everything, like I said, will be linked and listed down below. Anything I mentioned, any discounts I can find, any uh, words of wisdom, they'll be in the description box. If there's anything I didn't cover, feel free to leave it in the comments. I will meet you down there. Oh, definitely go check out that giveaway I'm doing with Pacifica. I can't wait to see uh, one of you guys win that package. All of my social media will be on the end screen to come. Please go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you've tried any of these products out already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.